The development of any student requires an all-round approach and such a holistic perspective has always been the essence here at the Army Institute of Technology. The story starts with General Bipin Chandra Joshi becoming the Chief of Army Staff. He said that the Army has been running Army schools for a very long time. Why haven't we graduated to running Army colleges? The idea of an Army Institute of Technology was uppermost in his mind. So, in July 94, this campus was bustling with activity and the AIT was born. Spread over an area spanning 30 acres, the campus of the Army Institute of Technology houses everything that a student requires for a great and enriching educational experience. I think ever since my student days, uh, AIT has always been ahead of the curve in providing the kind of exposure that students need, be it academics or sports or careers or leadership. And I believe it has only got better and better over the past many years. So you'd be surprised to hear that if I'm in a, uh, you know, a group of my peers, uh, more than a third of them are running startups of their own, which is a really big deal. The Army Institute of Technology has gone to great lengths to provide its students with a variety of facilities to ensure the best in education. From modern, well-equipped classrooms that deliver theoretical learning to modern labs encompassing various streams of engineering, instilling within the students the awe of the machine by giving them hands-on experience on various industry-grade apparatus, while teaching them the underlying principles behind the use of each and every one of them. Beyond engines and machines, students are introduced to the world of electronics, computers and information technology. This helps build an understanding of logic and the thought that goes into developing software modules within the digital space. AIT works closely with a number of industries and organizations promoting research and development and incubating student projects to explore, enhance and develop cutting-edge innovation in the space of motorized control, 3D environment simulations, and the enchanting space of robotics. As for sports facilities, AIT provides it all. Everything including basketball, cricket, football, badminton, tennis, and squash, encouraging students of both genders to develop good team skills in engineering, you know, everywhere in India, if you would see, you would find very few girls entering, maybe because of how people are about girls entering engineering or doing, or becoming doctors. But um, slowly, I think it is picking up. So, 40 girls in our batch was a good number compared to, you know, how many people were there, girls were there in the batches before us. I remember the first time when I was here and my, um, I, I got admission in LSR in Delhi. And my mom said, no, I don't want to uh, keep her there. I would want her to go to AIT. So that's how I landed up coming to AIT and then I did my engineering. So the first day of my um, college year when my parents left me, she said, yeah, the hostel looks nice. I think you'll be very happy here. <laughs> People look good. And um, I, they, they never visited me in four years. So th that's how conducive the place is, pe the trust people have. The Army Institute of Technology has left no stone unturned in forging excellent hostels for its students. The safety and security of female students has always been paramount, allowing them to grow and explore their skill sets, as well as have time and space for recreational activities. An educational institute cannot simply restrict itself to intellectual growth. We at AIT believe students can do their best only if they are physically strong and healthy. Food preparations adhere to the highest standards of hygiene and cleanliness. The diet is structured to support the young and growing age of the students. Therefore, AIT provides them with a wide variety of nutritious meals. The world outside moves ahead at a breakneck pace. The developments taking place in a large variety of industrial sectors drives the need to keep students abreast with current progress. AIT recognizes this and takes extra measures to ensure students are ready for the future to come. There are recurring sessions and guest lectures, right from commissioned army officers to scientists to corporate representatives and successful entrepreneurs. 
These are the guiding lights and mentors which prepare our students for the opportunities that are in store for them in the future. As for AIT's inter-college activities and fests, the entire campus lights up to welcome its guests and sets up a thriving atmosphere for everyone. From racking brains to solve tough problems, to staging plays around social issues. From 3D printers to make tiny models, to the miniature models of the DRDO that increase awareness of the prowess of the Indian Army. From robots battling each other for victory, to brains battling it out to solve business issues, from rocking it out at musical night, to dancing it out to gain victory. The students at AIT have always been competitive by nature, never settling for less and giving it their all. The results have been evident with the numerous awards that the college has won over the years. Right from coveted awards at major events such as MindSpark, to being a part of the top winners at national events across the country, AIT has made its mark across many areas. In 2017, AIT was awarded with the Best Professional College Awards by the SPPU. Research and innovations are the two important pillars of our institute along with the academics. Faculty research, patents, hackathon are the active buzzwords at the campus. This is from my fourth company that I'm coming here. And uh, I, I'm glad that, you know, everywhere, wherever I've gone and I've picked up students from AIT, the experience has always been, you know, on the rise. You know, the kind of uh, professionals that come out of the AIT LMNS, it's just amazing, you know. When being coming, people coming from the army background, you get a lot of dedicated, disciplined, you know, never say die attitude kind of guys. In one of the organizations, I had uh, an opportunity to recommend Army Institute of Technology uh, as one of the institutes from where we should take the in, in, in students. The Army Institute of Technology has an age uh, over other institutes. Uh, and when I look at uh, how part of it, uh, first is the quality of students uh, in terms of their discipline, in terms of their adaptability, uh, in terms of their ability to learn and willingness to learn. Huge amount of difference I can see uh, in the students, uh, the quality of students from Army Institute of Technology as compared to other institutes. Since inception, when the first batch passed out in 1998, we have consistently recorded above 90% campus placements. The quality of placements especially is very good when it comes to the number of and nature of industries visiting the campus. We have all the industries from all domains visiting our campus. Manufacturing, engineering, consulting, IT product, IT services, telecom, analytics and whatnot. If we see the range of industries, we have around 60 to 70 industries every year visiting the campus. We have a, a very healthy target of achieving 100% placements by 2020 with average salary of rupees 6 lakhs per annum. From its origins in 1998 to the present in 2018, the Army Institute of Technology has grown, evolved and achieved heights never seen before, bringing its students a name to be proud of and setting their career path and preparing them for a life of immense success ahead. I am Brigadier Abhay Bhatt. I am the ninth director of Army Institute of Technology. Army Institute of Technology has a checkered history of last 24 years. Today, we have risen to a very high ranking nationally at the ranking of 77. In the Western region, we are in top eight. And in Pune, we are considered to be among the top three engineering colleges. As per our vision, we are committed to provide total quality engineers to the nation. And towards that, we ensure all round development of our students. For this, we are drawing a roadmap which includes both vertical and horizontal growth. We are also introducing new and modern processes to enhance our teaching and learning process. We are also moving towards attaining 
academic autonomy to achieve our goals. We are also keen to focus on research, development and innovation and enhanced industry interface. Most of our students have joined corporate sectors. Some of them have also joined defense forces and serving the nation in this capacity. Striving to achieve our objectives, as per our motto, we are always rising onward to glory. Jai Hind.